Hey everybody, Blake with Marvel.com at New York Comic Con 2015 for not preview night, for setup night. Setup night. Uh, we are very fortunate to have a good friend of Marvel, good friend of mine, Mr. Zacco. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. It's good to see you. Again, thank you for taking the time when you need to be setting up with us schlubs. This is very <laughs> nice of you. Um, you have a lot of great things from Diamond Select that you are showing off the con. Yep. Let's talk about that first, and then there's some things that you'd have to come to see that we're not going to show for later, correct? Yes, there's some stuff we don't have here just yet, but it will be here later on at the show. But uh, I'll show you what we do have, and I'll tell you what we got coming up. Uh, you yep. you want to start over sure. here because we got this big guy over that I want to talk about last. Sure, sure. Um, this is uh, our new uh, premiere collection Thor statue that we revealed recently. This is um, sculpted by Claiborne Moore based on that classic cover uh, where he's battling the Silver Surfer. Um, this will be coming out uh, early next year. We just opened up a reorders for that. Uh, and this is the second in our premiere collection series. We're also doing um, uh, Wolverine, also sculpted by Claiborne Moore, um, him striding through the snow in his brown costume. Another thing, besides the statues themselves, these bases are really great too, if you can mention a little bit about that. Yeah, the, uh, the premiere collection, we want it to be sort of uh, something more than just your basic statue on a base. Um, so it's either going to be a, a larger scale, full figure statue, or it's going to be something with some sort of environmental aspect, like uh, the Asgardian Rainbow Bridge base here, uh, the Bifrost, and also um, the snowy uh, tracks here. He's obviously tracking something, there's footprints, and uh, we don't know what it is. Maybe it's Sabretooth, who knows? <laughs> Sabretooth. Um, so another thing Diamond Select's very well known for is the Minimates line. You have a lot of really great ones that you're showing off at this con. Let's, let's talk about that. Yeah, we're actually debuting a new series here. Uh, we've uh, Some pictures have leaked out there, but we're showing it in full here for the first time. This is our uh, all Deadpool series. So it's all based on the comic book uh, world of Deadpool. So you've got um, four different versions of Deadpool, actually, and each one comes with a different character from Deadpool's past. Uh, so you've got... Um, uh, a Marvel now Deadpool, uh, you know the way he appears now. Um, you've got uh, Secret Wars Deadpool, where he's got the uh, the DP on his chest, but he also has alternate torso, so you can have the mustache head. Uh, the Marvel now Deadpool has the unmasked head as well. We've got the mascot Deadpool from um, Secret Invasion, where if you take off the mascot parts, he's got um, he's got the Deadpool parts underneath. And you've got Zenpool, and uh, they each come with a character. We've got uh, Cable from um, Messiah Complex. You've got uh, Bob the Hydragoon. You've got a copycat as Domino, so she'll have alternate <laughs> head and chest to have the two different looks. And uh, you've also got Siren, uh, who comes with an alternate, uh, an attachable uh, sonic scream effect, which oh, came nice. with ba our Banshee mini made, which a lot of people liked. And uh, so that's going to be coming out early next year. Um, I think pre-orders are going to be opening for that real soon. Uh, we've already opened up orders for the Secret Wars wave, uh, which you can see a little bit up here, the uh, Iron Man 2020, uh, Dazzler, a lot of the characters who appeared in the Secret Wars storyline. Um, and there's also going to be a couple of Toys R Us exclusive figures, including our first Spider-Gwen. That's awesome. Uh, and she'll have some alternate parts to uh, turn into Gwen Stacy here. And we're also going to have an Iron Spider-Man from his uh, famous role in the uh, Secret Wars crossover. And uh, also next week, we're going to be shipping our Marvel Villain Zombies uh, box set, our third series, with uh, Vulture, Bullseye, Pyro, and also an Ultron drone from the Secret Wars book, um, Age of Ultron versus uh, Marvel Zombies. Do you have a, I always put you on the spot, but do you have a favorite of each line? In each line? Um, I, every line brings it, like a new design <laughs> thing. Like, the, like, I'm not a huge, I'm not like some big crazy cable fan, but I love this outfit for yeah, Cable. He's got yeah, the big yeah. fur cape, and he comes with a little uh, hand uh, where he can hold uh, baby Deadpool. <laughs> baby Deadpool. A uh, little baby Deadpool. So that's, that's pretty cool. A lot of people have been asking us for Siren, uh, and it's been getting louder since we made our first Banshee. So uh, the fact that we're making her is very cool. I, I read the Capullo X-Force back in the day, so right. I was a big fan of all that. Um, but uh, the zombies are always fun. Secret Wars, uh, not shown here is Howard the Duck, so everybody's excited about that too. Mm -hmm. And um, this was a box set that we did exclusively with Action Figure Express. And they're actually here at the show. I think they're booth uh, 437. And uh, they have their Age of Ultron box set, which has um, Tony Stark, Nick Fury, Iron Man Mark 45, uh, Final Form Ultron, a big bulked up Ultron from the movie, and also another member of the Iron Legion. Oh, great. So uh, that is available here. That's actually available here at the show, uh, as well as through ActionFigureExpress.com. Is it time? You were excited about this. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We are. Uh, we just recently got the license for Marvel model kits, so we're going to be bringing back uh, some of the older uh, snap together as well as glue kits from uh, Polar Lights, and um, we're also going to be developing some new ones. There are some that they developed that were never released, and we're going to actually finally bring those out. And we're actually creating some all new ones of uh, some characters that maybe haven't gotten the model kit treatment in the past. So uh, you know, expect to see maybe some characters like Deadpool in there as well as some other characters that maybe weren't on that top of that list back in the day when they were doing these. And when's the time frame for these? Uh, I think the, uh, the 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 older stuff we're bringing back is going to be coming out uh, by early next year, and uh, we we'll, should be by then we should be able to solicit some of the new stuff they're developing. It's all being sculpted right now. 
Awesome. And then uh, you mentioned there were some things that will be at the con that aren't here as of yet. Yes, uh, we have our Marvel Retro Cloth, the uh, 1970s Mego-style Deadpool set, which we've shown before at San Diego, and that's going to be here on display. But we're also going to be debuting the new Marvel Retro set, which is Daredevil. Uh, we teased him on the box at the last show. You might have seen his picture on the side, but he's going to be one of the ones we're putting out next year. So, like you see, uh, it's going to be Daredevil in a classic Mego-style figure, and then two additional outfits and alternate heads, so you can create two different Daredevil looks. I actually... I, they, I may have been told once what they were, but I even forget now. So I'm excited to see what it is, uh, what the al alternate looks for them are. I'm assuming one is a Matt Murdock. Uh, we've been doing the Secret Identities thing. But I'm curious to see what that second alternate Daredevil costume looks like. Should be very cool. And the other ones that are already out have been like flying off the shelves like hotcakes. What, there's Wolverine? Uh, Wolverine. We did uh, for the first retro-style Wolverine ever. Uh, Spider-Man, um, Captain America, and Thor we've shown. And he's going to be coming out, I think, uh, towards the end of this year. And it's funny, our boss, John Cirilli, collected those and he gives the stamp of approval for uh oh here well look at this he okay, that out from behind your ears, look at this magic he gives the stamp of approval for these because he used to have these yeah back in the day yeah. so, so yeah what is, do we have here this was the first thor action figure ever made uh, so we reproduced this is the 1970s mego thor and he's going to come with the alternate don blake costume and uh, also the modern thor costume we go a little bit more realistic for the modern thor costume as well as you know getting a different look um, and uh, so, you know, it's, it's meant to look a little bit more, you know, heroic. And Mego was a great, was a great toy line, fantastic toy line. But, you know, they, they cut some corners, they compromised, and the manufacturing processes weren't as mm -hmm. sophisticated back in the day. So, you know, they, they cut a lot of corners. We tried to reproduce that exactly when we do the retro-style figure. And then we try to do our own thing right here. We work with uh, MC Toys on these, and that Dr. Mego is, uh, is a big, big guy in the Mego community. He, he designs all these guys. Yeah, the, the, the best part about the Captain America one was that little sticker that was on his shield. <laughs> it, like, wasn't put on perfectly, and that was for a reason. I yeah, yeah. no, the, our, our Captain America, we had the retro-style shield with a sticker on a black shield, and then we did, like, a painted shield for the more modern-style Captain uh, America. That's awesome. It looks like, wow. The, uh, the retro-style Deadpool. This is our modern-style Deadpool. It's a little bit more detailed, you know, the accessory packs and the, the, the pouches and stuff like that. And uh, here's uh, one of the alternate looks, the unmasked X-Force-style Deadpool. See, we're so still setting up. I'm getting handed this stuff that comes out of boxes. This is for me, right? I'm keep, keep yeah, you can have this. All right. No, no, you can't. Um, so, uh, lastly, um, how can fans find you guys online? Uh, DiamondSelectToys.com is our website. We have a blog there. Uh, we also have a web store there. If you can't find something, uh, check that out. Um, Artisylum.com is another one of our blogs. And we're on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Diamond Select Toys on Facebook and Collect DST on Twitter and Instagram. So, uh, look us up. And finally, you're online, too. I, I, I got a Twitter. I'm Zach Oat, Z A C H O A T. If you want to check me out, I, I tweet. tweet if, you, if you read the Diamond Select Toys Twitter, it's basically me <laughs> all the time. So, so I probably tweet on that more than I tweet on my own. But. And lastly, if you go to Art Asylum and see this wonderful photography with these figures, this is the man that takes them. Just a side, like, great photographer that you know, uh, just for fun. You know, I, I, they, I'm very happy they let me take pictures of stuff for, uh, you know, whenever we do, like, a Disney Store exclusive or a Marvel Select figure uh, or, uh, you know, the mini made stuff. I like taking them out in the streets, lying down in the streets and taking some pictures. I brought a bunch of stuff in this weekend in case you had any free time, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I am, so I'll have, to, I'll have to see what I can shoot. And where is your booth located for fans who will be here this weekend? Right, that's an important one. Booth 1644. Uh, we're right by the Marvel booth, actually, not too far away. That's great. Thanks again, Zach. I appreciate it. Good to see you, man. Uh, more to come from New York Comic Con 2015.